Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of Mavericks. Let's start off with a warning. This procedure will erase all files on your Mac's internal hard drive. So if you need any of those files, I recommend backing them up before doing this. There's only one thing that you're going to need to make this happen, and that's a bootable Mavericks USB drive. If you don't know how to create one, please check out one of my two videos. So the first thing you need to do is turn off your Mac and then plug in the bootable Mavericks USB drive. Next, hold down the Option key and then power on the Mac. Keep holding down the Options key until you see the boot options. Now double click on the USB drive on the right. Select the language you want to use and click the next arrow at the bottom. Now select Disk Utility and click Continue. If you don't see Disk Utility, check under Utilities up top in the menu bar. Highlight the main part of the internal hard drive and click on the Erase tab. Make sure that the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled and give the drive a name. And just a reminder, this next step erases everything on the drive, so make sure you back up any files that you need before doing this. Click Erase, and then click Erase again. When the erase is complete, close Disk Utility. Now select Install OS X and click Continue. Click Continue again and click Agree twice to agree to the license agreement. Select the drive you want to install Mavericks on and click Install. The installation process will start and then it will reboot the Mac for the first of two reboots. The installation will continue and the Mac will reboot a second time. Note that this process could take anywhere from about 20 minutes to around an hour depending on the Mac and USB drive that you have. And now it will start the final setup. Select your country and click continue. Select your keyboard layout and click continue. Log into your Wi-Fi network if necessary and click continue. At this point, you can transfer files to the computer I'm going to skip this step because I'll be transferring files later using Migration Assistant in another video which I'll have a link to at the end of this video. Now make your selection and click Continue. Sign in with your Apple ID to use the services listed here or you can just skip this step for now as I'm going to do. Click Continue and agree to some more license agreements. Fill out this page to create a user account and click Continue. Register your Mac if you wish and click Continue. Now it will go through a final setup and boot into a clean install of OS X Mavericks. I'm going to eject my bootable Mavericks USB drive and I'm done. So that's how to do a clean install of Mavericks. Now many times people are doing a clean install because their Mac is having issues. In this case, I recommend doing the clean install this way so you can test the clean install and make sure that things are running well. Then I'd transfer the files from your Time Machine backup to the computer using Migration Assistant. To see how to do that, just click here. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time.